talk us about the restart project. Okay, um, so my next thing is after working a couple of more years in aid or development projects, one of the things that I saw that that most one of the things that most troubled me working in other countries was actually coming back to London, coming back to the U.S. and seeing the way people uh, throw away their their mobile cellular phones, laptops, tablets. The moment something goes wrong, people have this tendency just to leave, to leave it, to throw it away, and to move on to the next, to buy the next one, to get the next best thing. And so it just seems like it's becoming more and more extreme, and many people are recognizing this. So what we're trying to do um, with the Restart Project is to change the way we approach electronics, um, to think about, yes, you can change a battery, you can, you can upgrade, you can fix something that's really slow, that's running slow. But, you know, some of us feel like technically it's difficult to do that. We can look up on the internet, you know, speed up my computer, change my battery. But a lot of us, and even people, I mean, I, I'll admit it, I'm like that. I need someone to help me. Now, I don't necessarily need to take it to a shop, but I might need someone who's a friend who's more confident. So we have this idea of having these community self-repair parties. We call them parties, the restart parties, where we play some music, we get some food, maybe some drink, and we sit together and we fix our stuff together. And usually there's a couple of people who are more confident. So there's like a guy who speeds up computers, and there's somebody who's good at electronics or electrics who can fix like a household electrical thing. And so those have been going really well. We tend to fix like, I mean, it depends. Sometimes we fix everything that people bring. Sometimes we only fix a couple of things. But it's the process of thinking that you can actually fix something. It's like actually sitting down and opening it up. It kind of changes your relationship to stuff. And it probably makes you less light next time. Um, um, and what do you fix? So we fix, what do I fix personally? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I can help. Uh, what I'm, I guess what I'm getting better at is diagnosing what's wrong. So often people don't even really have a notion of what's wrong with their device, or they say, this is bothering me, or you know, this, the, the sound doesn't work when I, when I use this browser. What's going on? That kind of thing, I'm getting better at diagnosing. Or this key doesn't work. But I, I don't fix things. I just help. I help diagnose what's wrong and bring it to people who can fix them. Um, I help. It's, it is a, mm -hmm. a, a very local community. It, it depends on. Yeah. Do you think uh, you can expand in some way? Yeah, so right now we're doing it in two parts of London. Um, in North London, where my co-founder lives, and down in South London, where I live. Um, but everyone is asking us to do these parties elsewhere. So, because there's a lot of interest. We think we think it can be scaled or it can be moved. Um, where, but we, what we'd like to do is to come up with like, with the best practice, you know, with uh, a set of how-tos, and here's the best way to run one of these events. Um, so we'll be working on that next year. Also, for people that don't want to go to the event and don't want to, they don't want to fix their thing, but they need help, they would like to repair something, we're working on um, a directory or a map uh, that'll have reviews of different repairers in, in people's neighborhoods, and we'll give them an immediate somebody to contact. Um, because at this point, you have lots of uh, sites that review things. You have like TripAdvisor, Yelp, other ones, but you really don't have one for repair. There's no place for you to find out where to repair things. So that's what we're working on, help people stop throwing their stuff away. Okay, thank you.